come on in, watch the stat. DragRadioMedia.com. Jamie and House Pro Line Racing. The Golden Gorilla is outside. Kind of made his re debut last weekend down at Holly Springs. The crazy part about it, it actually feels a little cooler here than it was at Holly Springs. Yeah. I know we're splitting hairs, but uh, wow, what a great event this is going to be. We're down here at North Star, Denton, Texas, a makeup race from a previous rained out race. We we're both a couple of wet dogs. Been a short week for both of us. We were laughing right. about it. We're not 18 anymore. Tell me a little bit about the combination that Dwayne's running and just a little bit, you know, we covered Dwayne real good last week. Yeah. What's on the horizon for ProLine coming up? Um, we've got a bunch of new stuff, new combinations that Patty's been working on um, in the Pro Mod, which will, as as usual, trickles right. down kind of the drag radio. He's right. been uh, he's been working with the Hemi and Troy Coughlin's car okay. and showing a lot of promise to it. Right. So I think that in the next year or so, you're going to probably see that start trickling down. I know. Andrew Aleppa is building a new car, right. and he's kind of putting that technology into that, and, and you know that's going to probably be the first one out with it. And I, it's I think breaking it's, right here. It, it's yeah. kind of might be the first guinea yeah, pig, but yeah. with the same deal, it's a brand new combination, yes. so it, it's yes. kind of neat like that. Too. It is. It is. And uh, you know he's he's been on the fence with it. We've talked a bunch. He's he's worked with it now for since the beginning of the season. But it's in the last race, he's really found a, he's starting a, a to bunch of potential in it. Yeah, exactly. So, and, exactly. and again, this combination, I mean, it, it will always be competitive. You know right. what I mean? It's it, This is going to be for the guys like Dwayne and Andrew who, who want to take it to the next level. And, you right. know, where what will happen is this stuff will trickle down and, you know, and that will become another source for other guys to be able to step right. up their program. Just like know? building blocks with exactly. Lego when you were exactly. a kid, guys. There's there's a new really cool Lego about to come out. <laughs> and you're going to need to put it on your tower. So exactly. that's about all we're going to say. So technology like that, I mean, we're, we're about halfway through the year right now. Probably start seeing maybe a little bit of that towards the end of the year. Yeah, I would say by the end of the year you'll see it. And, and you know, the, the other thing is this whole year basically will be for, for Steve to kind of figure the ins and outs of it right. and find out what things he would change if we were to put it in a, you know, a car that weighs 3,200 pounds right. compared to 2,650 on a pro model. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, and he's talking about that too. That's funny. We're talking about 600 to 700 pounds. Guys, that's a huge, huge that's difference. a huge amount of weight difference, let alone taking a slick down to a radial. Right. I mean, the dynamics is phenomenal. I know electronics are there, but it still takes a good old drag racer to figure everything out. It definitely does. I mean, it's a whole package. I mean, basically what we're talking about is that he'll find out what things work for the engine to Right. But the actual suspension and things like that is, is a whole different ballpark from what we run in our program. Exactly, right. exactly. And hence, the reason you're at the track, ProLine, tops in the world, they send their guys out, they want to be boots on the ground per se, and uh, hey, Glad to have him on board. All right, brother, I'm going to let you get a little bit of a power nap because right. we got a long we weekend ahead of us. DragRoadMedia.com, Nayer, North Star Dragway. We're out.